when I wasn't traveling. Private sessions with models were the bread and butter of my income. Taking baby shots or engagement portraits weren't my thing. As hot as Camilla was on the outside, her vindictiveness had been a major turnoff. I'd seen the way she'd backstabbed her colleagues on several occasions. But as much as I couldn't stand her personality, she never knew that. I prided myself on professionalism, never crossing any lines that could be misconstrued. Good job. Let's get into that bikini now, and then we'll be done. She slid off the bed and sauntered over to where I adjusted the lighting. With no shame, she ignored the modesty screen in the corner and unhooked her bra, letting it drop to the floor. Do you think we should take any nudes? She asked, and I had to suppress the eye roll that wanted to come naturally. Even before I could respond, off came the thong, leaving her as naked as the day she was born. Desperation never seemed to be something they shied away from, especially if it helped get them what they wanted. Me, which had never happened during my professional career. I used the term they to represent a small group of young, up-and-coming models who had no clue what it meant to have integrity. It was a demanding class of beauties whose careers came easily without a need to sell themselves. They were spoiled brats, a small, elite group of women who had been noticed as they sipped designer coffee at the park or sauntered through a fashion mall while giggling with friends. Camilla was probably the worst of them all. If given the choice, I always preferred to photograph the more mature set of models in their late twenties to early thirties, models who knew how to be humble, appreciative, and most of all, professional. That's up to you. But to be honest, I don't think you need them for next week's appointment. I could see the wheels turning as she said, You're right. If something arises, I'll schedule another shoot. She moved even closer to stand directly in front of me. I still hadn't looked at her as she continued to stand there naked, and no doubt it was pissing her off. Naked women affected me as much as they did a gynecologist. When you've seen as many breasts and waxed pussies as I have over the years, it was normal to become a bit desensitized toward them. A visual of a fully dressed Cassie came to mind, and if she were standing right beside naked Camilla at that moment, strangely enough my body would have responded to Cassie more. I knew that, because there had been a few times since meeting her when the thought of what she'd look like naked in my bed caused my cock to swell. I wasn't dead. Sure, over the years there'd been plenty of women who'd caught my attention with their hot little bodies and cunning smiles. But once I got to know them, the desire would dim. One woman managed to keep me wanting to come back for more, until the day she broke up with me. I'll check my calendar when I get home. Camilla went on to say when I still hadn't acknowledged her pathetic attempt to rile me up. Sounds good. I lied. Would you like anything to drink before we finish up? A chilled Pellegrino with a slice of lemon would be great, thank you. God forbid they subjected themselves to tap water. Coming right up. As I reached the door, I said over my shoulder, Go ahead and get that bikini on. I have another client in a few hours, and I don't want to rush these shots. Her silence meant she got the hint to move things along and stop trying to seduce me. The truth was, I didn't have another client that afternoon. So the sooner Camilla's session ended, the sooner I could get her out of my apartment. 